Uh, yeah, I think there is. So, um, open research for me, I think you can see it more or less as a, a list of different things. You need not necessarily do everything on that list, uh, but there, there are different approaches you might take to open research. So, open research would involve possibly using open methodologies, so maybe you are using things like crowdsourcing and stuff to get in. Or it might be looking at the use of um, open available data, um, doing social media analysis, those kind of things. There might, it might be a methodological approach to open research, but more commonly I think it's more about opening up the research process itself. So as you're going along the process you'll be much more open about what you're doing. Whereas I think uh, traditionally kind of the way we think of research has been much more about you kind of get your research funding, you do a two-year research project and then maybe you publish an article at the end of it, which may be in a proprietary journal, whereas open research is much more about having all that process open all the way along. So maybe even before you've got your research grant, you're blogging ideas, you're tweeting ideas, you're getting input from other people, and as you're going along through your project, assuming it's a project, uh, you're doing things like blogging your results, putting things out there, you're sharing data, so open data is very important to any data you get back as long as it's kind of okay to share and can be anonymised, those kind of things, and shared openly with other people. Um, and importantly, you're publishing any findings in open access journals. So there's a kind of uh, a theme or strand of openness that can run through uh, research, I think.